So that's all great holding the water on site, uh, on say the roof in this example. But in a lot of situations that's not always appropriate or you might not always be able to hold on to all the water. So what else can we do to store water around a building or a site? So what we'll do is demonstrate what else you can do and if we have another rainfall event on um, the standard roof Aaron. And what I've got here is a hose pipe. So what we're doing is harvesting water from this drain pipe and we're now piping it into a, a storage tank over here. Now this is very similar to a, a standard garden water bus. And the principle is exactly the same, where we're taking water and instead of letting anything that does drain off the roof, we're now going to store that elsewhere on the site. Uh, and what we've got here is a tank that represents a standard root zone. We've, we've done a standard sports root zone here, but this could be a raised bed or just a standard flower bed. What we've used here is a, a geocellular drainage layer, which can connect together to make tanks. And you can see we're piping the water in and that's now started to be stored in this tank. So that water can be stored below, for example, a football pitch um, or a flower bed or even a car park. And this system is very adaptable and can be utilised in lots of different situations. But what we've also got here, and you'll notice the blue food dye that's moving up the profile, is the ability to have passive irrigation from this system. And this is where we utilise cones that are in the, the geocellular um, matrix that wick water from the storage into the root zone and they take advantage of water's natural ability to want to move upwards. That's one of the reasons why trees can grow so tall is that once one water molecule goes up, it pulls the other one up after it. And that's called a capillary action. So you can see here the water over a period of a few days has risen up in the profile and generated essentially a hanging water table, which the plant then can obviously use. So you can see this system is used as below ground irrigation. So you're watering the plant from below, which is much more efficient than watering from the top. And SDR have done extensive research trials in Australia on sports turf that have shown water savings of between 30 to 60%. Now that's not to say you're completely replacing overhead irrigation in a sports turf application, but you're seriously reducing the amount of water needed um, when you do apply it from above. So that's one application is on, on sports turf situations. But also you can, for example, have one of these in a, in a raised bed in a, in a development or even on a, a green roof. And that's what SGI are also doing a lot of work on at the moment is designing these types of systems on roofs to reduce the amount of water that comes off them, but at the same time reducing the actual water needed to grow the plants. So just to go through the system in a bit more detail, what you have here is a tile called a permavoid tile, and this is a geocellular system that can be used as a sub-base replacement. In a sports turf situation, we've used that to replace the gravel drainage layer. And on here, this is your water storage area, and if we wish to have irrigation, what we'll do is utilise these cones here, and we put wicks in. And what they do is they sit in the, in the drainage layer, and any moisture that is there, or excess moisture that is there, they suck up, into the root zone but then what we also have to have is a, a high spec ge, geotextile and what that does is prevent root zone from going down into the cell and you'll see over here that the root zone is evenly wet due to the geotextile spreading the moisture evenly through the root zone.